Happy Hanukkah! I'm Rabbi Ari here at Temple Shalom in New Milford, Connecticut. And let me tell you what we've got going on here this week. It's Hanukkah. Today is Monday, and this evening we have an executive board meeting at 7.30 p.m. Tomorrow on Tuesday at 9 a.m., we have my out-of-the-office office hours at the Java House on Bank Street. Um, on Tuesday afternoon at 4, we have our Tuesday Hebrew program, which this week will be a Hanukkah party. Uh, on Thursday, we have our beer mitzvah program, and uh, it's it's been really nice actually. We get different people every week, and it's been a nice way to just sort of connect with people on a you know just a casual level. Um, so come grab a brew with the rabbi this week. It's going to be at the uh, Bad Dream Brewing Company, uh, which is next to uh, Staples in New Milford here. Um, and then on Friday night, uh, we'll have Hanukkah Shabbat. Uh, so bring your menorahs, and we can light menorahs uh, before services. I think it'll be fun. Uh, on Saturday at 9.30 a.m., where there's the Torah study, followed by services at 10.30. I will not be there this Saturday, because I'll be celebrating Hanukkah with my family. But fret not, because Saturday afternoon at the JCC, there's a community Hanukkah party for everyone to celebrate Hanukkah together. That's at 3 p.m. We have a link below uh, to our December bulletin, uh, where you can find uh, all kinds of events coming up, such as our new conversational Hebrew class, which is going to meet on Monday evenings at 7 p.m. with Jonathan Chesler, or Yonatan, as he's probably going to want to be called during class. Um, and that starts next week. Um, it's an opportunity to learn conversational Hebrew. Whether you speak Hebrew, whether you read Hebrew, or anything, uh, he's such a good teacher. He can teach anyone. Um, and it's going to be a really fun class. Uh, so think about coming to join a class for conversational Hebrew. Even if you can't tell an all from a bet, you can do this. Um, and then on uh, December 14th, we have our Jewish Journey Shabbat with a potluck dinner beforehand. Uh, January 5th, Abigail Pokerbin is going to be sharing her book, My Jewish Year. Um, on uh, January 13th, we have our day trip to Jewish New York uh, for $18 a person um, and uh, free for young children. And uh, you can take a bus with us to the city You can go to the Jewish Museum and uh, have a uh, meal at uh, Barney Greengrass, uh, a nice Jewish restaurant. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but you have to RSVP because uh, tickets are selling like uh, latkes on Hanukkah. Um, we also have, uh, on January 18th, our Tu B'Shvat Seder coming up. January 25th, we have our program, Connecticut Yonkels, with Catherine J. Prince, who writes for the Times of Israel, talking about uh, the history of the Jews in the state of Connecticut. Um, and then on uh, February 1st, uh, Rabbi Stephen Carroll is going to be presenting his book, Finding Faith in the Face of Death, for any of us who have had to face death one way or another, either for ourselves or family and grief. Um, this is a book that that uh, I think will give us a uh, positive, constructive uh, perspective to have as we're going through that process. In our media section, we have a link to uh, Bohemian Hanukkah, a, uh, a sort of a spoof on the uh, Queen song, Bohemian Rhapsody, with Hanukkah lyrics. Uh, it's pretty good. You should check it out. We have photos from a Shaggy event, our youth group event, a program where they learned about poverty. We have links to uh, Jewish Journeys pictures of our uh, uh, kids from the Jewish Journeys program, as well as uh, to our Pajama Havdalah program. We had like a dozen families uh, at our last Pajama Havdalah event. Uh, there are a lot of families with young children, young Jewish children in the area, and it bodes well for the future of the congregation. It's just very uplifting and exciting to be a part of all that. Um, we also have a link to the News Times article that quotes Dr. Abel and myself talking about Hanukkah in this day and age. Um, and uh, we have a link to uh, services last Friday and Saturday, and that just about sums it up. We wish everyone a happy Hanukkah.